Welcome back, and for our final segment, of course, we have a caller. Go ahead, caller. Good evening, Jerry. Good yeah. evening, your guest. Good evening, Good yes. Evening, uh, one question for your guest. Is the implementation of VAT in September, does NSA have any committee meetings or Tonga meetings planned? I'll answer. Did you hear the question? Yeah, I heard the okay. question. A very good question, caller. Um, actually, um, we're looking forward to, to having some discussions um, within our members and also to discuss um, with the wider public. We're hoping to have town hall meetings as mm -hmm. well. But what we, we're looking forward to, we're looking forward to the 2012-2014 budget. Mm -hmm. um, because as the Prime Minister stated, um, that's where he'll disclose all the information that we need to know the rate and so on. What goods will be zero rated, the basket of goods that will be exempted from any VAT and so on. So we, we need to know the dynamics of that before we can make any pronouncements and do any sensitization and educating our members. But overall, what would be your, your, your best advice to St. Lucian's um, with the impending introduction of, 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 of that? Your <laughs> 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 That's going to be that bad, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. I, I'm just kidding, Jerry. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, like the Prime Minister stated, the St. Lucia is the last um, country in the Caribbean to implement that. Um, so we know it's inevitable. Um, some goods will have increases in, in prices, some may have decreases. Caller, go ahead, please. Yes. Mr. Jerry. Yes. I want to know why, if I see he's talking about what? Why are we talking about that? Why are we talking about what? Why? There is one part of Mondijon that don't get water at all. Oh, <laughs> yes, no, caller, for, for us to hear us better, for us to hear you better, you need to just turn down your uh, the volume on your television set, please. I'm doing, I'm doing that. Okay. There is yes, there. you see, there's a part of Mondido that does not get water. Yes. Yeah. From Friday, from Wednesday, this part of Mondido not getting water from the school coming up, not getting water. And at any time you call, there's a lady unsigned, and she all she's saying, "I will try to send some water." And people don't get water here. Why that is happening? And well, everybody's paying a water bill. Well, that is thank one. You, thank you very much. That's one time I wish Clinton was here. But it's you know, happening, <laughs> it's happening for years. Okay. And all of us don't have get, getting water right down. But from the school coming up, to reach forgotten country, not getting water. And I could call a gentleman named who's, who's working with Wasta. Please don't. Saying that. Parking is up there, <laughs> and people not getting water there from first day. People not getting no water, and that has been going on all the time. Okay, I think Mr. Antoine is here, and um, this your voice is certainly one that he's heard, and I, I think in his discussion with his panel, he can certainly look at uh, these related issues. But we run out of time right now, and I just want to say, Brandon, thank you very much for joining us tonight. This is an area that, of course, needs some extensive further discussion yeah. because I think people need to understand what the role of the Senusha Non-State Actors Panel is. It is a voice for persons, and especially when we're talking about funders money that is meant to benefit people generally. Yeah. Any final comments? Uh, certainly, Jerry, I'd like to thank the viewers for, for the calls. Um, most certainly, I'd like to thank you, Jerry, for inviting me. I think we've had a very productive discussion. And I'm looking forward to even more discussions on, on you know, whatever topics that we, um, we, we can discuss to really advance the cause of give, give um, the vulnerable and the you know, ordinary man in, in society a voice. Yes, I think it's a voice that is really needed and it is something that we need to explore more, make yourself be known more yeah. so that people can feel a certain level of confidence to ensure yeah. that their voices are heard and heard in the proper yeah. um, sections of government um, and to ensure that whatever is being done on behalf of the people is done so that it benefits the people. This has been Newsmaker Live. I'm Jerry George. I'll be back next week with um, sitting in for Clinton Reynolds. Until then, thank you for viewing. Our callers, thank you for joining us, and see you next week.